Some daycare centers across the country were still using certain sleepers blamed for dozens of infant deaths despite a voluntary recall. A nonprofit advocacy group found that two types of inclined sleepers, including the Fisher Price Rock and Play sleeper, were still in use. We spoke to several parents whose children died in inclined sleepers. Our consumer investigative correspondent Anna Werner is here with their message and what families should look out for. Anna? Good morning. This is what's called an inclined sleeper. This one, a rock and play made by Fisher Price. Now, the company voluntarily recalled it in April after reports of more than 30 infant deaths. Other similar sleepers have also been recalled, some as recently as last week. Now, when recalls happen, it means a product should be taken off the shelves and should not be used. But many of these still are being used. Now, parents who lost their babies want others to know about the risks. Why are you here? Why did you want to be here and do this? I, w I would like to raise awareness. There's people out here that are still using the rock and play sleeper that our children died in. Haley and Ty Hampton lost one of their twin boys, 13-week-old Liam, in February. He was our little baby, our little cuddle buddy. Your little cuddle buddy. Yeah. For Jonathan and Amanda Butler, it was their 10-week-old daughter, Aria, in January. She was perfect. All right, it was perfect. Uh, I don't go a day without thinking about her. Casey Connolly's six-week-old son, Jameson, twin to sister Dorothy, died in 2015. How often do you think about him? Oh, <laughs> I mean, every second, really. There's not the time I don't think about him. All three families are suing Fisher Price, saying their babies died in a rock and play inclined sleeper. The company and the Consumer Product Safety Commission announced a recall of around 4.7 million sleepers in April, saying since the product's 2009 introduction, over 30 infant fatalities have occurred in rock and play sleepers. This is a fundamentally dangerous product that shouldn't be on the market. Pediatric experts like Dr. Ben Hoffman say the device, although marketed as a sleeper, was never safe for infant sleep, in part because of its angle. So the incline here is a huge problem. First of all, knowing what we know about babies, relatively large heads, relatively weak necks, the upright positioning can lead to the head flopping forward and that can block the airway, which is devastating to babies. And they can't pick their head back up. Correct. Fisher Price told CBS News the loss of any child is tragic and heartbreaking. Safety is our highest priority. Another company, Kids2, also recalled some 694,000 sleepers in April after five infant deaths. But a new survey released by the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, or PERG, has found one out of ten surveyed daycares nationwide still using recalled sleepers from Kids2 and Fisher Price. U.S. PERG's Adam Garber. What does it say about the recall system in this country that you were able to find these sleepers? It says that it's not working. And if we're gonna keep children safe, we have to make sure that we can get these products out quickly and efficiently. Both Fisher Price and Kids 2 said in statements they've taken multiple steps to notify consumers about the recalls. Kids 2 says it sells to retailers and consumers for single family use only. Fisher Price said it has reached out to companies on the secondary market, urging them to take action to prevent unlawful resales of its sleepers. Yet we found numerous postings selling them on Facebook, Craigslist, and eBay, some from parents who still seem to believe they are safe. That's why these parents told us they're speaking out in an interview for the first time. If we could at least help one family out of all the other ones that are still using the rock and play, maybe that's what I'm here for. We don't want another baby to die because of the rock and play. Is this process working well enough to protect these kids? I think it is. I think it is. Anne-Marie Burkle is acting chairman of the Consumer so Product Safety it. Commission. I think in some cases, and perhaps this one, it's, it's been a frustrating, a frustrating path. Do you worry about the sleepers that have been recalled that are still out there? I do worry. There's a lot of parents out there who may have knowledge of the recall, but they love that product. And I would say to them, please don't use the product.
But the parents we interviewed blame Fisher Price itself for some of the confusion, pointing to a statement the company issued at the time of recall, saying that parents or caretakers used the product contrary to the safety warnings and instructions. To hear that statement from Fisher Price, it like it was like you know they gave me this little something of taking these death traps off the market and then took it all away. Now, reports to the CPSC do show that some infants did roll over in those sleepers and were unrestrained. But all the parents we interviewed who are suing Fisher Price say that was not the case with their babies. Now, Fisher Price told us it does not comment on litigation. Dr. Hoffman with the American Academy of Pediatrics says that these inclined products, however, are not safe for babies to sleep in under any circumstances, to sleep in. In. What is the proper way that an infant should sleep? This is such a critical time. They're so small and so little. Yeah. And that is so important. On their back only, not on their side or on their stomach. On a firm surface in a crib or bassinet that's approved with a fitted sheet and nothing, nothing around them. No blanket, no toys, mm -hmm. no bumpers on the edges. Nothing. Mm. Th that's what doctors will tell you. We really want to thank those families for yeah. talking to yeah. us. Yeah. We know how hard that was. Yeah, yeah. and Very understand hard. their desire to have those off the market completely on that yeah. secondary market. Anna, thank you.